Hello student, myself Dr. Chandramuli Sharma and in today's video we will discuss organic chemistry. Unit will be synthetic drugs and its topic will be objective questions. So let's start with the question number 1. First question is just given on your screen. Give two names of drugs used for analeptics before going on answer first we'll discuss what is analeptics analeptics are called respiratory stimulants are general cns stimulants analeptic is a greek word that can be translated at having the meaning picking up those who have been cast down and most important analeptic stimulant in the cns system and in large doses they cause generalized convulsions so your answer is actually there are three types of analeptics first one is cortical stimulants and its example is xanthine alkaloids it's naturally available second is medullary stimulants and its example is picrotoxin and third one is spinal stimulants and its example is trichine Next question is just given on your screen. Give name and structure of anti-malarial drug. First, we will see what is anti-malarial. So, as we all know that anti-malarial agent are drugs used for the treatment of the malaria. So, your answer is hydroxychloroquine is anti-malarial drug, and this is the structure of anti malarial drug the next question is just given on your screen write uses of tall butamide drugs so your answer is it is used in the treatment of selected cases of diabetes mellitus namely mild and uncomplicated stable diabetes of adult it is one of the fundamental drugs generally doctor used for the treatment of the diabetes in primary stage next question is write two uses of n hexyresorcinol first of all we'll see what is hexyresorcinol hexyresorcinol is having the local anesthetic activity antiseptic and Anthelmintic property. So its structure is just given on your screen. This is the resorcinol moiety and this is the hexyl moiety. That's why its name is given N hexyl resorcinol. So your answer is it is available for use topically on small skin infection because it is having the property of antiseptic. And it is also used as an ingredient in throat lozenges. Lozenges means during the throat infection for throat smoothing, we are taking Vicks, Vicks tablets. That is the lozenges. Next question is just given on your screen. Define sedatives. So this is very easy question so we can write direct answers sedatives are central nervous system depression drugs that reduces the excitement tension and produce relaxation next question is define chemotherapy the word chemotherapy is applicable for the treatment of the infection due to viral bacterial fungal and protozoal infections so your answer is chemotherapy is the treatment of the systematic disease or infection with the appropriate drugs which are capable to produce retardation in multiplication of microorganism or to suppress their growth without affecting the host system Chemotherapy generally used in the treatment of the cancer. So next question is, 
difference between narcotics and non-narcotics analgesic as we all know that analgesics are having different two types narcotics as well as non-narcotics first we'll see in detail narcotic analgesics have been widely used for the management of severe pain especially for cancer most of these drugs are opioids and they show their analgesic effect by acting through opioids receptor they bind the receptor and non narcotic analgesics are medications used to control pain and inflammation in primary stage some type of these medication can be given during the surgery to reduce the post surgical pain and lessen the need of narcotics now you can give answer analgesics are agent that relieve pain by acting centrally to alleviate pain threshold without disturbing the consciousness or altering other sensory modalities and narcotic analgesics are drugs that denote all naturally occurring semi synthetic and synthetic drugs which have a morphine like action namely relief from pain and depression that is the most important depression of cns associated with the drugs dependence analgesic drugs generally does not need prescription while narcotic analgesic drug should be taken by under the guidance of doctor and it is will when will go to pharmacist store the pharmacist wants doctor's pres prescription otherwise they won't give you next question is give use of lidocaine lidocaine is also known as lignocaine or xylocaine generally it is used as a local anesthetic and its structure is just given on your screen so your answer is it is a potent local anesthetic it is reported to be twice as active as procaine hydrochloride in same concentration and one of the best use of the lidocaine is just given on your screen that's why i have mentioned the use of lidocaine with respect to heart it has local vaso dilating action but usually used with the vaso constrictor adrenaline to prolong the local anesthetic activity and it is also used as a class 1 anti arrhythmic agent most of the people are knowing this that a lidocaine is one of the best local anesthetic yeah that is correct but it is also having application in cardiac and also anti arrhythmic agent that's why i have mentioned the use of that in this question next question is give use of atenol all so it's very easy atenol all is used as a anti hypertensive drugs mainly used in the treatment of the essential hypertension one of the good anti hypertensive drug next question is give the structure of phenacetin it is one of the derivative of the acetanilide and its structure uh, having the ethoxy and anilide group but before going on this it is a analgesic and antipyretic with the similar effectiveness as and aspirin and it has a greater potential for toxicity than paracetamol that's why nowadays many doctors not many doctors most of the doctors are not using phenacetin and your answer is the structure of phenacetin is this this is the anilide acetanilide and this is ethoxy so it is also known as para ethoxy acetanilide 
next question is which kind of the drug should be taken during fever it's very very easy question so we can write direct answer antipyretic drug should be taken during the fever and best example is paracetamol phenacetin 